and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a speed build for an orchard and I'm wearing a dress by my friend Lauren over at Toadstool Island. I'll link their Instagram in the description. Also, just as a little disclaimer here, I am not making a functional orchard. It's not for the pursuit of bells or anything. It's mostly just going to be an aesthetic orchard to make sure I incorporate all the fruits on my island. My goal is to have my orchard on the lower level of my island just because I feel like the cliffs are always in the back and I kind of want to break that trend. Like I want the back of my island to be sort of flatter. So my first job is going to be boarding up all of this water and cleaning up the flowers and trees. I've already gotten most of the weeds, but as several people have mentioned in my comments, you don't have to get rid of weeds if you're terraforming. You can terraform over them. So just something to keep in mind if you've already gotten your greedy weeder achievement and you don't really need weeds for crafting. My map has been requested a couple times just so you all can have an idea of where I'm doing this terraforming. So you can see I'm standing in the upper right hand corner, um, close to the middle. I'm going to be terraforming right here, tearing down these cliffs. And just to my right is the tiered neighborhood that I did in my other speed builds. So you can get an idea of where those areas are in relation to the rest of my island. As I mentioned, I'm going to be placing my orchard on the lowest level of my island, so I'm just going to tear down these cliffs so that I can access the lower level. Just like I did with my sunken waterfall tutorial, I'm going to tunnel in from the beach rocks just because I think it's easier than trying to tear through all the land that's here. I had a concept in mind that I would have waterfalls on either side at the back here, but as I'm terraforming, I kind of decide that I want to do a waterfall just to the right at the back of the orchard. So that's what I'm doing now is building these cliffs up so that I can make a waterfall out of them. As always, I'm running all over my island to harvest trees from other areas so that I don't have to chop them down. I think waterfalls look more natural when there's curved land around them, which is why I make this little extra outcropping there. I just think water looks more natural that way. I also decide that I want to have water trailing through like a little river through the orchard. This is just on the spot something I decided. So I'm going to trail it over to the like bottom left hand corner where I'll have another waterfall. I won't build it in this video, 
but yeah I'm gonna make a diagonal bridge here which is why I mapped out that like water right to the side of me um if you want to know how to make your own diagonal bridge I did make a tutorial for that as well Here I'm using a custom design to mark where I'm going to place an incline down into the orchard. So that's what these little leaves represent, it's just where I'm going to place my incline. So now I've got my bridge, as you can see I can place it here. I move over a little bit just so it'll be closer to the waterfall. So yeah, this is the bridge that'll connect the main part of my land over to where the trees will be. On this side of the bridge I really want to have like a little seating area so I go get a tree so I can place it like beside where I want to have seating because I think that makes things feel like cozier and less empty I just think it's cute. I play around a lot with how to decorate this beach rock in the very back because it feels weird empty when it's bordering, you know, an orchard which is really full and cozy. So I do just swap out several things until I feel like the beach rock is working for me. Originally I planned on just having like a flower stall maybe bordering the river, but I really like the idea of there being a little picnic here, so I do put down one of my quilt designs, and the holes I'm making are for trees. This is where I'm planning on adding my fruit trees, I just want to go ahead and map it out so I can get an idea of where to place the other decor before the trees are taking up a lot of space. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I like to put out my pathing pretty early on just so I can get an idea of what the area is going to look like in terms of walking space. So I go ahead and do that just so I know that my trees aren't infringing on walking space. Now that I've planned out the trees, I can go ahead and start adding some decor. 
As you can see, I have a ton of custom designs. If you're interested in those, you can head over to my codes video. I'll link it in the description. As you can see, the beach rock ends up being pretty multi-purpose. It's like a little cafe seating area, but also has a silo, but also has a little flower stall. I don't know, just I vibe with it. I decided to put a little pumpkin patch here. I just think it's super cute and I really wanna use my garden faucet, which is also really pretty. So yeah, I decided I'll just grow pumpkins alongside the orchard. I've mentioned this before, but I fill up most of the grass space just because it makes me feel more comfortable knowing that like weeds and rocks won't sprout up like unexpected, I guess. So that's why I try to fill pretty much all the available grass space with either items or custom designs or plants, just so it does feel less empty, not because I'm going for like a clutter core vibe. If you're new to my channel, my theme for Lost Falls is the mom theme, so I'm trying to use kind of like mixed colors and textures and stuff in my designs. I'm really trying to challenge myself to incorporate more color than I did in my other island, Lorien. I try to always put custom designs behind my cliffs just so that weeds and flowers won't multiply without me noticing. Mm -hmm. 
I want to fill up the empty space between Cat's house and the orchard with an area that will be like relevant to both. So I decided to put up a little well and maybe some more trees and things just so that it's not so empty, but it does feel like it fits. After I finish decorating the well area, I go ahead and skip to the next day so that my bridge is placed because it's getting kind of hard to navigate over the river now that I've placed a lot of furniture around. So I go ahead and place my incline and now I can do the finishing touches before I take you through the finished area. And of course, to keep everything cohesive, I use the same path border because, I mean, if anything, it's even more perfect for the orchard. I'm not 100% positive what's going to be on the other side of the orchard yet, but I'm just assuming it'll be something I need to lead over to as well. So I go ahead and stretch the path out just so that I can go ahead and open that up for whatever area I build next. One of my favorite ways to fill up cliff edges is to alternate shrubs and fencing. My favorite is the country fence, so I get rid of the simple wooden fence that I'm using and make country fence instead, but I'm just going to line the edge of the orchard that way because I think it's cute. Once I finish filling up just these random empty spaces that are left over, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward so that you can see the finished product with the bushes growing and everything. Hi, and thank you so much for hanging around until the end. Um, I'm just gonna walk through really quick to show you the orchard now that everything is done and I'm happy with it, so I hope you enjoy. This build was my longest yet on Lost Falls. Um, it took me about two hours and 10 minutes, 
and I kind of felt like the my longest yeah boy ever video the whole time. I just felt like screaming a little bit, but yeah, I'm glad that we could see it finished. Thank you again for being here, and here is a little outro from my sister. I don't know about you guys, but since my name is Peaches, I like the peach tree the most. What's your favorite fruit? Comment down below. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.